Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's video I'd like to look at how the USE Minis unfolded yesterday, particularly um, following on from some of the comments I was making in the MT Predictor customers training webinar yesterday. In the training webinar we were looking at um, some of the cell setups coming in here on the YM and we're actually suggesting that these were probably against the large degree trend. Now remember for new MT predictor customers we look at uh, the STF color to get an easy way to get the trend. In other words red is down, black's flat, blue's up. So initially these would look like these cell setups here would look like they're with the trend. However when we go to the 15 minute chart and this is what I'm looking at I'll just take this off and I'll put it back on again from where it came from which was off this low here. What I was looking at in the webinar was how we use the DPs on our 15 minute charts to then show large degree support and resistance uh, projected in advance. And that's the important thing about these DPs is that unlike um, normal indicators like our STF which is lagging, in other words slow to um, change trend after a change in uh, direction of the market, these DPs are leading, in other words they're on the, mark, or on the chart, they're ready in advance waiting for the market to get there. So uh, <clears throat> what we were doing, we were actually looking at this particular uh, 15 minute DP here and if I now come down to the 3 minute chart, I was actually talking about how major 15 minute DP support was coming in here, therefore these cell setups, can you see, uh, this cell setup here was actually then against the new large degree trend which is now up off this 15 minute support. So what I was suggesting was at the very least you should be bringing your stop to break even once you uh, went past the 100% initial risk level which was here. I did note that there was a sell signal earlier as noted by this history triangle that would have uh, made a minus one hour loss if you'd taken it. But what I want to look at now is what happened a bit later. So after the webinar just had just finished we got this TS4 set up here. So the question being is Bearing in mind that this was now larger degree support, in other words 15 minute support here, and I was suggesting that these TS3 cells were against the new larger degree uptrend, the question being is what would this TS4 buy setup have been? If we look at the STF colour, yes it would have still been red, but we, are, um, we know that this is lagging and therefore more advanced traders go off this DP support. So can you all see now that because we had major support coming in at this low, the large degree trend was now up. So therefore the, for the advanced traders among you, you'd be looking for long trades rather than short trades. So therefore this TS4 buy setup would be a good one to take. So if you were short off here, you'd want to be stopping reversing. But as you can see, this caught this low beautifully and the market then went up and actually came in and held you long all day and would have come out at the DP target here just before close. Uh, there's no point uh, holding on with the STF uh, strength uh, strong here because you're pretty much at the end of the day there anyway. So coming out with 6R profit would have been very good. If I place a DP off here, I just want to put that on and just show that that's at the same level. But the point I want to make in a second is that for the more advanced traders among you, there was an opportunity to pyramid or add an additional uh, trade setup here into that same DP level for an extra um, an extra trade there of another potential 6R profit and also a third opportunity to pyramid here again as well again into your DP target, original target which was there for another 5R profit as well. So there were some excellent pyramiding opportunities here to add to your existing uh, position as the market went with you. But uh, this was for the more advanced traders. But initially I just really want to show you how that uh, because we had 15 minute support coming in here, i.e. larger degree support, that these cell setups were against the large degree trend and therefore you should be uh, managing these more carefully or if you're an advanced trader you would be looking to come in on the long setups and how this um, this buy setup here was a very very nice trade to take and as you can see would have resulted in a very nice plus 6R profit so a very very good trade there. Does this work out as well as this all the time? Well of course it doesn't so what I want to do is I want to go to the NQ and I want to look again what I was talking about at the time yesterday as well. And this is where we had the NQ coming down to this DP support level at around uh, 10.45, 11 o'clock 
uh, yesterday. This was during our webinar and you can see that the market actually went through this and actually came to our lower DP support level where the actual low of the day came in before the rally started. But uh, just to be fair here, I was actually talking about this potential DP buy here. So you can see this was actually at this first uh, 15 minute support zone. So what I was suggesting in the webinar was this was potentially a good one for the advanced trades among you to take. And as you can see, the market didn't go up to the first target. It rolled over, reversed, and would have stopped you out from minus one hour loss. Uh, you can see nicely the market did go down here to then come in and find support at this lower level. But the point I want to stress here, and this is what I mentioned in, in the webinar, so I want to just reiterate this, is that not all trades go with you. Um, the cost of doing trading is that some trades will um, end up in a losing trade. That's just a fact of life. Every professional trader knows that. But because we use our correct position sizing, in this case varying the number of lots, contracts or shares to keep your initial risk small under control, this would have been a perfectly valid trade to take for the more advanced traders among you. And yes, it would have been a minus one hour loss. But can you see how by losing just minus one R, or in other words, one risk unit there, it was kept small in comparison to our, where is it? In comparison to our YM trade here that made six R profit. And this is the whole key to successful trading is when these trades come in and they're correct and they're right and they make money for you, the profits are much, much, much larger than the losing trades. So that's what I want to leave you with today is a good example of how our 15 minute support came in here on our DPs that actually caught the low of the day beautifully on the YM, therefore allowing you to take this long trade here as an advanced trader and with some pyramid opportunities as well. But I also want to stress as well that not all trades turn out as profitable trades and uh, just highlighted this DP buy setup here that looked to be a very good one at the time. But yes, it did make a losing trade, but that loss was kept small and under control. And that really is the key to successful trading, having um, tools that keep your losses small and your profits large. And that's exactly what MT Predictor did for you on the USE minis yesterday.